it's not that the whole movie isn't about redemption, but redemption does keep working itself into the movie. And um, most of the characters in the movie are given choices to make. And they make the choices that they make and they pay the and they pay the price or the, the consequences or they live to tell the tale uh, because of those choices and we actually see it happen all three different times in the movie and uh, but actually but it's it's funny though if you if you just take that for what it is if you just look at the case of John Travolta and Sam Jackson it would suggest well okay Sam Jackson made the good choice made the right choice and thus he prospers and John Travolta pays no attention to it, and thus we know he dies. But you have to, but you have to think about Bruce Willis's choice that happens in this movie because he actually makes two choices. One, he makes a choice to do a very unhonorable thing. You know, he actually makes the deal with Marcellus Wallace to throw the fight. He doesn't have to. Marcellus doesn't say throw the fight or you're dead. He makes it for money, and he takes the money and he screws Marcellus with it. Um, but he actually ends up living to tell the tale. Because right, he actually does make a moral choice later when he goes back to save Marcellus. But he's still starting from a very bad place, and he actually ends up prospering you know, for it. But again, he does, make a, you know, he does make a moral choice that he doesn't have to. Um, but if he had, now if he had left, but this is, I'm just thinking about it now, if he had left the pawn shop and, and just let Marcellus be buggered, if he just left that, you know, would he still get out of town? You know, with, uh, with Fabian, would he still make it to Tennessee? Would he still have all the money and everything like that? Right, he'd be looking over his shoulder. Now, right now, he's not looking over his shoulder because he did the moral thing. He actually got away with it. <laughs>